It's time now for a little East in local sports and sports. We've got high school baseball this evening as the Wayne County Yellow Jackets take on Pierce County at Howard Bell Warren Field at 6 p.m. Pre-game show begins at 5.50 this afternoon on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. First of three games this week, Thursday, the teams at Jeff Davis, Friday back home against Appling County, and three games beginning tonight. Again, Wayne County, Pierce County, 6 o'clock at Howard Bell Warren Field. Both middle school baseball teams begin conference play today at 4 p.m. Arthur Williams on the road at 4 p.m. They're over in Appling County. Martha Puckett plays at home today. They're at home at 4 p.m. Varsity golf team continues to win. They're on a roll. Another victory this one Monday at the third annual Wildcat Invitational with the Savannah Quarters Golf Club in Pooler, Georgia. Wayne County on top with a 10-team field on hand. The other Jackets shot a team 306 to finish second or to finish two shots in front of second place Glenn Academy, who shot 308. Sophomore Antonio Warbay, the low score with a 74. Sophomore Finley Burke and freshman Brett Malloy each shot 75. And freshman Aiden Jones rounded out with an 82. Also competing for Wayne, freshman Jacob Strickland and junior Ashton Davis. Boys in action today at Jekyll for a match against Ware, Brunswick, and Brantley. Lady Jackets shot a team score 299. They finished second at the event. Senior Allison Sullivan had the low score at 94. Also competing senior Emily Harris, senior Marissa Mobley, sophomore Jordy Jordan. College basketball March Madness gets underway this Friday. People filling up their brackets, getting all the games at Indianapolis at different sites. Over the weekend, Georgia Tech won the ACC, and they are in action on Friday, taking on Loyola Chicago. Tech, a nine seed, will play the eight-seeded Ramblers. Again, the winner of that game will play the winner of the Illinois Drexel game. Both Kentucky and Duke again miss out on this year's NCAA tournament. First time that's happened since 1976. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.